ladies and gentlemen. May I have your attention, please? BBS Exclusive is about to begin. So yeah guys, it is DBS exclusive, a show where I talk to content creators, because we just love chat to creatives. So today, I have two black Nubian queens, two certified divas, two um, ladies who are in their prime, okay? So, Daniel. Amazon. Netanya. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Barry. Thank you so Hi. much for like, you know, being my lovely guest. You know, like earlier, I'm going to have my nice cutting work with I'm messed up with I'm going to go the same way. I'm going to have it say partners in their prime. You get that? Oh, partners yeah. in their prime. Partners you know? in their prime. <laughs> you see that? Yeah. Yes. But we know work with it the same way. Um, <laughs> for the persons who don't know, who are you? Because we'll have people soon and they ask a question like, who them? They just hear soon have a buzz and I wonder like, who are you? So, let me see. Okay, so I'll go first. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so my name is Netanya, and despite what people might see on the internet, I am not a professional podcaster and YouTuber. I do them in my free time. Yeah. You know, I actually have a 9 to 5. So this is just like a disclaimer. Yes. People wanting me to like do things at like 12 in the day, and I'm like, it is Tuesday. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. my job. I'm at 9 to 5. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm actually introverted, and also mm -hmm. people would not know me that. Me believe that. Me not, me not believe it, honestly. Me not believe that. Uh, no, I'm an introvert. So you're extrovert for pay? Mm, no, I just... <laughs> I feel like if there's something on my mind that I need yeah. to get off, I will say it, it mm -hmm. you know? And I don't, I don't like, I, don't, I shouldn't have said that, I don't like putting myself in titles, but, yeah. you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's really me. You in a nutshell? Yeah. Daniel, Daniel okay. Ray, Renee. Who is Ray? <laughs> Why Who keep is Ray? Basically, because you bring so much Ray to life. <laughs> no, it could I have been Daniel that. Roy, Daniel Lad. 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 Um, <laughs> okay, so my name is Daniel Renee. Mm. Um, I think I'm a content creator. Yeah. Like what That's how one? I would describe mm -hmm. myself. However, like Netanya, I'm also a marketing professional. Mm. So that is what I do in my real time. And mm. it's not a nine to five when you work where i work that is your life <laughs> so oh, you get called right through. shout out to my boss who's probably watching this because he keeps tabs on me mm -hmm. where i work is a serious place so <laughs> that takes up most of my time but i always try to squeeze in mm -hmm. a little extra time for my content because you know i'm passionate about the content that i create on youtube instagram as well as on the podcast with Netanya, which mm -hmm. is why most people would know us together we are a podcasting duo yeah. that duo and that's on science so yeah <laughs> all right so more often kind of ask like you know briefly tell me how the two are like end up becoming friends because on paper <laughs> it must seem like two girls who could have really hate each other I really like each other. <laughs> yeah, so it's just like, two. for see, like, it, it yeah, seemed like it wouldn't really have that really in between. Go anyway. But it seemed like I know a strong personality. So, how do you guys meet and then, like, for say, all right, we'll have a little vibe. We're going to be friends. Yeah, that's so <laughs> true. Um, well, actually, so Daniel and I know each other for seven years. Mm -hmm. uh, we met through mutual friends because mm -hmm. we went to the same school. But she was a year ahead of me at yeah. the school. So, she came back to visit one day and I was like, oh. You know, some hear that people, like every time them younger than you, them always have to put out something for kind of show, say, <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. No, she like, always have to show people. Like, always you know, have to show this. my senior. She, always. You know, she's elderly. Always, trust me. Yeah, that was the intention. Well, I have one good friend like that anytime. Like, Yo, yeah. that's like, yeah, you know, then he is old. Yeah. <laughs> like, old yeah. folk thing. But it's fine. Yeah. Continue. Continue. Okay, my bad. <laughs> um, But yeah, so she came to mm -hmm. look for her friends and that's how I actually knew of her but you know we knew each other we're yeah. always like cordial um especially like online into the space and so I came up with the idea to do my podcast seriously was in seriously quotes mm -hmm. yeah I came up to do my podcast seriously and I really needed to have her as a first guest because yeah. she was supposed to be on it before and then I had taken a break so I said Daniel girl come on it First episode went really well, and people were like, they got to bring it back. We have chemistry, yeah. Yeah, and we weren't friends, like, right away, but because we were, like, with the podcast and, like, you know, talking all the time, time. we just became, like, mm -hmm. friends, like, close friends. Mm -hmm. Because she also left out the part where yeah, tell me. I am very, very slow in maths, and I can't add nothing. Oh, yeah. So, Netanya oh, used to tutor me in accounting <laughs> because her degree is actually in accounting, and yeah. I cannot account Even for nothing. Even though you are older. So, 
Yes. <laughs> she can still add better. Like that's just that's just on science. So yes. I, you know, I failed I accounting, and mm. then Netanyahu took me under her wing and taught me how to add a few things, and it really, really <laughs> helped me because middle class accounts wouldn't have no degree. So wow. shout out. Yeah. With, yeah. <laughs> So you can't wire to one account. No, no, no. Remember, no, 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 I really think that it's because we're both very honest people unapologetically. Mm -hmm. People like to watch real people, people who are not putting on mm -hmm. and trying to be something that they're not. Um, even if you think that we are not, you know, the best characters in the story, mm -hmm. we always own that that's our character. And at the end of the day, people can always say, Jano, She's not my fave, but that girl is very honest. Mm -hmm. And that's just one thing that you can always say about us across the board, whether you love us, hate us. We're just yeah. honest people who always just hone who we are. And I think that's what makes people really gravitate toward, towards us, our realness. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, I agree with that, Nick. I, I do agree with her, yeah, mm -hmm. like the honesty part about it, yeah, and I feel like people like to know what a lot of other people are doing mm -hmm. as well because, you know, some, that's why I don't have like Instagram stories because they see a post and they're like, oh my god, what is she doing today? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, True. like if I, because I'm a character, like in itself, I am very dramatic, mm -hmm. right? And I just tell things in such a way where it's just like, girl. Let me tell you what happened in this book today. Yeah. Right? So, you know. And Denny is also the same thing because Denny cannot not call me. I said, girl, let me tell you. And it's the simplest thing. I'm surprised because I said, I'm saying, the arm Denny is out of the road and she just seems so little quiet and just kind of in her no, little shell like she's not. It's like, you know, like, you know, then you'll be social distancing before COVID. Like, yeah. <laughs> she was just, you know, out there. Mm -hmm. So, this year on our, on our channel, you know, she had talked and all kind of things and just like vibrations just want to tell you about her relationship and all of that. Me, I'm like, wait. Daniel, I feel person? like it's the ep epitome of you know like, mm, no. like a little lady in the street, but you know like she have a little edge, like, like, like she have a little edge, you know like it's here, but like no, Daniel, you know gets down when she needs to get <laughs> no, down. No, it's true. I'm very to myself. So like people at work, whenever mm. someone that I work with discovers me online, it's yeah. like. The theme of my shoot is kind of like, um, it was supposed to be like really angelic, but as you guys know, my backdrop never come. So I'll just be with my crown. I want like a pink background she, however, my one that angel wear a nose ring. That's you? <laughs> That's you me. said that? Yeah. Like, little you? Because yeah. I mean, in most spaces, I am a very quiet person. Yeah. Um, it took me a long time to even realize I was a quote unquote Twitter fave because I just be posting my links to my videos and going. <laughs> like, I barely talk yeah. on it, so I'm like, do I even qualify? Like, do I make the quick tweet quota? Yeah, do so I talk enough? Forgot, forgot, forgot like, breaks there, come here, go jump in a little bit more. In your business, come on, hear about like the other side of social media. Okay. The one that's so nice. Yeah, yeah, you know, so we'll talk about that after the break. You're watching DBS exclusive. <laughs> When I talk about the little, you know, little nice little part of, of Twitter, say, you know, like people soon and people, you know, connect to, you know, I'm more for about like the dark side. Like, me, you know, me hop over Twitter every now and then, I'm a realize, say, yo, you have to be careful when you make a little tweet because literally, you know, you have to walk up an eggshell. That's Being true. on Twitter is like literally filling up the ice tray and trying to carry it to the fridge. It's mm -hmm. like, you have to just kind of, who? Like the who? That's the best <laughs> literally. reference I've ever heard. That That's is something. like Twitter from, you know, just me being on the sidelines. So tell me, 
when was the first time for each of you when you realized that oh ooh, twitter kind of kind of kind of rough and how do you navigate like how do i still be opinionated while understanding say yo this is a, like a slippery slope on this platform very interesting you bring it up at this moment um, <laughs> but for me when i realize it is when i see people just like dragging others mm -hmm. for like the simplest things and i'm like reading is a lost art on this app yeah but it is the darnest thing it is very easy um easy to miss interpret things online yeah. especially that you don't hear the tone of voice you don't necessarily understand what they're saying mm -hmm. but you know people are the person's personality because you know people have you know true. yeah, yeah and all of us have different things. types of humor which yeah. is something mm -hmm. i try to take into account when i'm reading tweets as well mm -hmm. that whole what russian finds funny mm -hmm. i chances are I won't and sometimes it doesn't mean that russian is trying to be offensive to me but you know there is a thing called dark humor. Yes. And yeah, I don't. I don't know. I just try to put on my thinking cap mm -hmm. when I go over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I was recently in a drag mm. that went on for like two days. Mm -hmm. But um, me personally, I don't really tweet stuff. Like yeah. if I'm not tweeting jokes or like you know tweeting my opinion on something that I think matters to me. Yeah. Then I'm really not gonna say nothing. Mm -hmm. But um so I made a tweet and people didn't like it. Remember I didn't call like any names or anything and people didn't like the tweet of course and you know they were saying lots of people were messaging me saying, Oh, you know how you said this was mm -hmm. like we get what you're saying but how you said this wasn't really how oh, you should have said it and yeah. even my friends came to me and my sister and Daniel as well were like you know how you say it did look a little way and when people say it to me I'm the type of person that I am I hold myself accountable in all things yeah yeah right? that's good so mm -hmm. when they were saying Netanya you know how you said it and I, I said I know mm -hmm. so like when people came to attack me they were very surprised that I knew what I did because wrong. Because they're ready for go to a war and, and to, Jerry Springer and everything now. Yeah. They point to say, you know, girl, this is where you went wrong. And I said, I know exactly mm. where I went wrong because for me, I'm always looking into myself when I yeah. do things and I do learn a lot from the things that I do. So I always hold myself accountable. Mm -hmm. So when people say, this was so distasteful, and I said, yes, it was. Yeah. But, and they're like, so you're not going to take it on? And I said, no, because guess what? I have to own what I do. If I run from my mistakes, then how am I growing as a person? Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, people chose to express that they didn't like me from morning. And yeah. that's something that's fine with me because where was this energy before? Um, I feel like if you're going to keep up your energy, just keep it up right through. Mm -hmm. I believe in energies yeah. and you know people did tell opportunities to express their dislike for me and all of the things that they think that i am and i don't mind that because to myself the people who know who mm -hmm. i am and i know myself then this is something that doesn't really affect me because outside of social media i do have my core values and i do know who i am i know who netanya mundel is called my government name yeah, i <laughs> yes. know who netanya mundel is so the opinions that people may have of me, whether good or bad, I don't take it personally yeah. because once I start to internalize them, to internalize it, sorry, that is when I'm allowing them to win. Yeah. In terms of trying to bring down my mental state, and I'm not on that because I'm, I'm a softy. That 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 is a word. I think Twitter one of them space there where you really have to be very bold. Um, one for kind of exist there, brave, and you have to like understand yourself. You have to know yourself you because people come in too. and tell you some things. Uh, when you guy bit at night time, you have a question because, yeah. as you say, both of you guys are probably you know outspoken and intimidating personalities, you know, unapologetically on yourself. And so, even I remember some other day where you were posting your, your weight loss journey, coming I mean, you know, on a journey there, and somebody come in and be like, oh, slim or something like that. No, I mean, like, yo, this person not even know, like, they they never, they're not even it's, part it's, of the Cool Kids Club for understand, understand. Yeah, the language of how you're communicating language. to your yeah, friends. So, that's why I say, you know, because there's no tone of voice, yes. yeah, there's no understanding each other. A lot of things can get misconstrued. Mm -hmm. um, for me, you know, my recent drag had to do with you know a brand and for me per it was just really interesting to see how far my opinion went and how people twisted mm -hmm. it a hundred ways um the brand posted something that i thought was really not in best quality of a brand's work okay and yeah. i really wasn't speaking from the perspective of an influencer because that's how many people took it they were just like oh as an influencer oh just, you just wanted the work why are you saying those things when it really wasn't like that for me it was just like i just really wanted more out of the video and it was really just me looking at it as 
the video, the art, not necessarily all mm -hmm. of the individual pieces. And I definitely will say that how I worded it wasn't really a hundred. I really just said what I felt like saying and I did just literally put on my phone because yeah. when everything blew up, I didn't even notice because remember I was saying that my job very serious. So I was at my very serious job at the time and I made a post and I went about my business and later in the day I went to record with another creative and they're like, say yes, I said I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna say they were finishing me and I missed it. Like I didn't even I didn't even see. You get what I'm saying? And as much as I realize now, mm -hmm. looking back and not being in the heat of the moment and in the heat of just disappointment with what I yeah. saw or how I felt or expressing how I felt the wrong way, mm -hmm. I can definitely say, you know, Daniel, that was just a little too saucy. That was a little too mm -hmm. much and you could have worded it differently. A, a, way that, a way that could have, rather than tear down a brand, found a way to uplift the brand as well as the people who were a part of it, rather than seeming quote-unquote bitter which was not how i wanted it to come out i up. don't think so that was the, the the intention and stuff but i always say like when when you're on them spaces there you see we you might see yourself yes. as like a regular just That's some the person thing. I and you have to remember you see the same way oh, we, we need it on shade room and you see somebody might comment and when you see the blue tick and them a celebrity you have to understand how people are look on them as so you have to realize oh you've given yourself as like um daniel yeah. netanya the brand people just see that people i forget so you know say so everybody literally comments on like things regularly but no yeah, yeah like your influencer no say so i've remember say so you're over one different lane and you can't you, can, you can't separate Sometimes how people look on so you know it's like they're not gonna feel forget. like you're always in the hat there like they're not gonna know yeah. So yeah, you take off the there sometimes and this is just your space to be in this greater but, space. But for me, like personally, I'm always in a net on your heart. Mm. Like my heart is always saying net. You know, no matter it net, it's not saying net journal because that's what I call myself. Yeah. It's not saying net journal, it's not saying net and it's always just saying net. Mm. And I feel like a lot of times people are just waiting on people to sleep. Yeah. So that they that's can, and it's running and say, yeah. Run yeah, and say so, you know, say a long, long time. time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait for me to know. Yeah, so it's just like and it was just sad to see that both cases, persons made it out to be like, oh, these are two people who are always just always so negative. Way. And yeah. that's really not us. And as Netanya say, it's not only just for Twitter. You see, if you're coming on social media in general, yeah. you have to know who you, who you are at your core, Shane, because I'm telling you, these people will change your mind or attempt to change your mind about yourself, mm -hmm. have you reconsidering everything about you at the end of the day. I just tried to night. say, you know, that's true. At the end of the day, yeah, it's night. night. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I just tried to just remember who it is that I am at my core. And I will make mistakes. And mm -hmm. I, I will say that how I acted during yeah. that was a mistake. However, to go and delete the tweet is is running. From, from you feel like it's, it's running. running from what I did wrong. I did something wrong and I need to accept the consequences change, of what yeah. I did. Mm -hmm. okay. I did something wrong. I should accept the consequences. It shouldn't be a case where because I'm online and I can just delete it, I feel like I can run away from that. It's my mistake and I need to own up to that. So if and I see people cussing me off and saying all kind of things about me and that's also your prerogative because just like how I had my opinions yeah. about said brand, you have your opinions about me and it's you're free to share it. And well, just like Daniel, and you, 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 you telling the people, I think any of us like have a little moment where you just like tell them some because colorful words. But at this point, we're gonna take a break and we'll jump in. We want to go chat about that thing that you guys to have together, that nice little brand that's gonna build together. Yes. We want to want to talk about it some more. You're watching DBS exclusive. <laughs> So I'm still here talking to Daniel and Netanya. Netanya, Daniel, YouTube. YouTube, I could have just rushed in on this one and then I run, run, run to get into the monetization and all of these things. Wanna enjoy the space? Bad, bad. I love my YouTube family. I'm not lying. <laughs> YouTube yeah. is 
my favorite. I mean, me never yet faced with no negativity or adversity over there. Mm -hmm. Just good vibes. People encouraging me to create more. And mm -hmm. every little foolish me do them, I watch me and them, I support me. And I love that for us. Like what you show a lot, can we see the relationship part? Because I know you did do that already. Like, can the people them see the arm? Because apparently, you have my, my namesake. Um, you're not gonna dash the success for me so hard, but you know the you know the relationship shut them work, you know, you know them people them able feet. No, but you know, my boyfriend is just not that. Or I'm not person. Somebody. He I'm not upon that. He is public but private. Okay. That's the type of person that sound, he is. Sound, sound, sounds kinda like Net Netanya. Netanya sounds like public and private too. Yeah, they like <laughs> to be out there but they don't want their personal yeah. business out there. So he's just like so. Me must just have the whole of my relationship <laughs> life outside and then people are kiki kiki and then one minute me do something with them not like and then you hear them trash. And then them get drunk. Yeah, uh, yeah, them not love your that. Your channel. Um, like what your channel like about? Oh, your so, Tanya family? So funny. No, sir. Top mm -hmm. tier. Every single one of them at some point in time can have their own channel. When we go in the sun, oh, we're going to judge this. Oh. Period. Right through. Watch out. Watch nice. Someone nice. Someone nice. Someone nice. Someone nice. Period. Yes, my family. Well, my YouTube was original. It's supposed to be me. Yeah. Um, but however, family I family just come in. So I can't be you now because my family is very supportive of yeah, the content nice, I put yeah. out. Um, I'm family, I love excitement, like, yeah. so they rush out to be my videos, my sister is very supportive, um, she produces all my videos actually, yes. Um, yeah, so she's like the professional side to me, just being the jokey mm -hmm. jokey side, and yeah, like my family just love it, so it has slowly been, it's turned to a family mm -hmm. too, because like my family, even when them, they're like, like, they come to me, yeah, and I'm say, you know, so today they're like, like supermarkets, and one girl say, Poochie! <laughs> yeah. mm. No! So, so I, look, I look a birdie, I tell me, like, um, Netanya, like, you too, even though I never understand it, why the eight man so much? No, man, like, that's not, that not hard. No, nah, hold on, hold on. <laughs> 15 seconds. Tell me why you eight man so much. Go, Daniel. They exist. Next. The G's and people. Netanya. They're breathing. Oh, God. Daniel, go again. <laughs> Go no, again. For me, again. Person, they make life so uncomfortable. Every uncomfortable thing in life starts with Shh. men. If there were no men on earth, women could like walk around, jog anytime they want. Go in to a the relationship then. You know, when I go to the supermarket, I feel so violated all the time. Like people are always looking at me in the supermarket. Sir, I'm trying to buy produce. I'm Natalia, not what your no. experience? Um, for me, the experience is just the experience is just like I know mm. because I just don't have a problem with like men. In relationships, they can't do the same because mm. my like my men are trash things like out of relationships. I just it's feel like men yeah. are like very possessive oh, and they feel gosh. like they see women as property and they feel like they can't just do anything. And I don't personally don't like mm. that because how am I going to be on the road and a man see me and say, Oh, stay and yeah. I will just be slap me from my chest. That's that's rude. I feel like a lot of men just don't have any tact. And when I say that I don't Ooh. like them, I just don't like how they operate. Jesus they operate. At their cores. And it has space, nothing to do with relationships. And, and the space where them talk about their 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 hate for, 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 for men, it um it tends to be what you call it, um their next chat podcast. <laughs> Whoa. No, that is not true. Because first of all, we've been brandished as the Hitman, Hitman podcast. podcast, and it's not true. And the lie detector true. says it's a that, lie. Because I feel like a lot of people who say stuff like that don't actually listen to our podcast. Mm. And it's an assumption. It's an assumption because we've actually never we've said that you know we're like man. However, we've never actually had an episode dedicated where we're like, oh my god, men are. It just come up like in a little one liners, but yeah, like well, honestly, let me just tell you like you know, say I only really get me into watching like like and listening to like a podcast. I believe you because it's like my find out say it's so you know like when you're bed and you clean the house and you have yeah, something and listen yeah. and I saw me feel like me have one friend come here like you hey, wanna just come like you know them people you know them good next door neighbor that we can have <laughs> conversation with Pam Varanda. Una get it that way, no come like you know, have that girl next door or uh, that. Sometimes I feel like make them put them outfits on their mouth, you know, because they always will. I'm not sure. They but always it just, will. It exhausts me sometimes. That's why. I have to and I don't like the fact sometimes. that people make you feel like you can't have, you know. Yeah, people make it seem like because people are not faves of the internet. They can't I like can't them. like them. Excuse me. You know, me to play one little game. Because I feel like I know things and you know, if I know that's so raven and them things, I'm going to play like a psychic challenge kind of game. I mean, once it's not kind of see. Fine. Not, not really much, but like, I really want to see like, if I really want to see like, if I know who are the better psychic, right? Okay. okay. So I'm giving you three options. I'm wanting to tell me which one me actually I think about. Okay. okay? Let me see. <clears throat> All 
Alrighty. Apple, berry, mango. Mango. Apple. Mango. Jesus Christ, all right, come through, so we get one. All right. All right, another one. Hold on, hold on. Marie, don't win, you know? Wow. Glass Five, ball. 15, three. Three. What is it? 15. Wrong. Three. Wrong. Really? Five. A five. Okay, Jesus, people, okay. come again. Come again. Ready? All right, I don't know. Fingers, knuckles, chin. 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 No wrong fingers. Come on, man. Come no. on, man. Work with the psychic thing. <laughs> I'm not worried about one girl. Watch this. Watch Maybe this. Over I know. Hold on. My radar is off. Hold on. No. I read again. Netanya. Mm -hmm. Benil. Net shot. Net, Net shot. shot. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. What you want to know? Spice. Ashanti. DK4L. We're always thinking about spice. Mm. Period. Mm. Mm. You know, DK for real. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm there, I'm you. You know what? Yeah, right? You know what? 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 You know Suspending issues, so my <laughs> handle is not next Jenna, it's Rich Bad Nets. Rich Bad Nets are ever changing because we don't know matter my next month. Hopefully, it's still have been. Pending, pending. All right, so that's it. We've come to the end of another DBS exclusive. I want to big up my sponsors. I have to go and big up LP Azar. Also, I have to go and big up new fashions for like you know this lovely shirt that I have. I have to go and big up my stylist. That is the boy Rahi Rai Studios. Also, I have to go and big up. Who else may I leave out? Effit. Effit. That ltd and a pbcj for you know the lovely accommodation and set right here so yeah keep it locked because you don't know which creator content creator i will be chatting to next bye bye <laughs>